So today I'm out on the trail. It's a super rainy day. I am testing out the Montbell Versalite. If you follow the channel, you know that I am a, a big fan of the Frog Togs rain jacket. The one I've been using for quite a while finally blew out. Too much for me to fix with duct tape. So I thought that I would try something new. So I'm trying out the trying out the Versalite. So I'm gonna get down the trail. I'm gonna get moving quick. We're gonna see if we can test this thing out as far as breathability goes and comfort and uh, obviously to see how it handles some heavy rain. It is in the low 50s right now, so it's pretty warm. I am cruising along pretty quick, building up some heat. To see how the breathability of this thing is working out. So far it's Surprising me. All right, so I've been moving for a while now and uh, definitely getting warm inside of the jacket. Surprisingly, I'm not feeling a whole lot of condensation building up on the inside. I'm not feeling super clammy. My back's a little bit wet, but that's to be expected with a pack on. That's, that's just gonna happen. So far, I'm pretty impressed with the jacket. I did notice coming from using the Frog Tog, as soon as I put it on, it felt cooler next to my skin. The Frog Togs are really loose and there's a lot of space in between your skin and the fabric and they, they just don't have that cold feeling. I don't wanna say that it's clammy. It does feel a little cooler uh, next to the skin and I think that's just because it's more of a, a tighter fitted fit than the frog togs. If there's really nice movement, um, it doesn't feel like it's binding up anywhere. The hood feels really nice. The hood's really deep. Um, it's got a nice brim that's adjustable here. Um, you can tighten this cord around all the way around the top so that um, in higher wind you could get this nice and tight so it's not going to blow back on you. Right now I've got it a little loose that way when you're looking up and looking around it doesn't pull the jacket up so much. But uh, yeah, that all works really well. You're probably gonna notice that I'm wearing what looks like uh, dishwashing gloves. These are actually the, the Showa Timrest 281s. I don't know if you guys have heard of these. They're really lightweight, really thin, uh, waterproof, breathable. Um, they're about $10 and so far, I've been trying these out. These things work great. Uh, they keep your hands dry. They're around two ounces for the pair, maybe a little less than two ounces, and they fold up really small. That's one glove. Um, yeah, they work really well. They're a little cumbersome as far as uh, trying to do anything with great detail, uh, maybe like really small buckles or things like that. And also they do not work with a phone. The sensor will not pick it up through this glove, but you can get inductive thread and you just sew it onto the fingertip like that and then it works great. I had to do that because I do shoot video and pictures on my phone. So I had to make sure that that would work. Anyway, these are gloves. I'm gonna take these guys off. So as far as comfortability with a backpack on, it feels uh, really nice. It rides really well. Um, I don't feel any bunching of fabric or anything like that. Um, another thing, pull this hood off something else that I noticed right away with this jacket I'm sure that it's kind of a nice feature but for me I'm not sure exactly why they include on the inside of the pocket you can actually pull and tighten the waistband this goes into the pocket on the inside but the thing is it's kind of in the way when you go to zip up the jacket I don't know it's kind of weird I will probably end up cutting this back to this this line lock here and eliminating this cord going into the pocket, I think it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of silly. Oh, well that sucks. Yes, as you just saw there, the zipper, the zipper is on the left side, not the right. There are no interior pockets on this jacket. Pockets are raised up slightly so that when you have uh, your hip belt on from a pack or a uh, fanny pack, whatnot around your waist, you can still access your pockets. Waterproof zippers. The pockets are pretty big. 
Um, you could easily store a phone or or uh, your keys or snacks. It's a good amount of space. Um, it does take a little getting used to, as far as the feel of the pockets being up high, but. I think that's something I'll get used to. Not a big deal. The pit zips. Got a nice big pit zip. Really easy to open. Just grab the cuff. Not a problem. Now, going the other way, without a backpack on or a fanny pack, it pulls. You kind of have to inch it up a little bit with your fingers, and then you can pull the rest of the way up. Now, if you do have something around your waist that will hold the jacket in place. This, if something's pulling down on the jacket, then it's a different story with the pit zip. Down, up, smooth. So if your pack is on, that's not gonna be an issue. You're gonna be able to operate it really smooth, no big deal, so that's good. The jacket does have uh, an elastic cord that runs around the bottom hem of the jacket, so you can snug that up and get it tightened up so you don't have a lot of airflow coming in. It does come down pretty far. I would say it's down as low as the bottom of my back pockets. It does not pull up a lot when you bring your arms up. It's got a lot of uh, this kimono cut that they call it. So it doesn't move a whole lot, which is really nice. The other thing is it also has very long sleeves, which is great. Um, these sleeves, I can pull them down almost to my knuckles with my arms straight, and that's a really cool feature. Has an elastic, I'm sorry, not elastic, Velcro closure, so that's nice and adjustable, and then also an elastic pull to it as well, which is, that's a great combo to have on your sleeves, I think. The jacket is very lightweight. I will throw the specs right down here so you can check it out. Um, somewhere around six ounces, I believe. And it packs very, very small. It does come with a stuff sack, a separate stuff sack. It doesn't stuff into its own pocket. Um, although I'm sure you could turn the pocket inside out and stuff it in there if you wanted to. Uh, me, personally, I just ball it up, shove it into my pack or wherever I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it so I can access it quickly. I don't really use stuff sacks for rain jackets. It doesn't, doesn't make sense to me, but it does come with one if that's the way you roll. Zips up nice and tight. You can really close this thing up around your face if you need to. It also has toggle on the back. If you can pull that up nice and tight around your head and really get this thing to form fit. I think if you are in high wind, that's really when that feature is gonna shine because it's gonna try and pull this hood back. But when you tighten this, it really can't. Locks everything into place. And that's a really, really nice feature to have. So overall, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about the Montbell Versalite. I hate to give up my beloved frog togs, but uh, as a replacement, I think this is gonna work really well. Pack's really small, super light. Um, seems to handle rain pretty well. I need to get it in some really heavy rain for hours. Rainy, rainy day. Woohoo! And uh, see how it does. But uh, the breathability is definitely a huge plus with this jacket. And then also having the pit zips, which is nice to be able to vent that hot air. I think for a three-season uh, jacket, this is going to be this is going to be a great gear choice. Um, I believe the jacket runs around two hundred dollars. You can find it on sale toward the end of the season, but. My bell doesn't offer a lot of discounts or sales very often. Obviously, a lot of people are gonna compare this to the Helium 2 from Outdoor Research. I don't personally have any experience with that jacket, but I can say that one thing this jacket has that the Helium does not have and that the Frog Togs does not have, which I've been using, is the pockets. Being able to put your hands into these pockets and get them out of the wind or store items in these pockets is really nice and the Helium does not have that option. For around the same price, maybe uh, $30, $40 more, I think it's well worth it to go with this jacket. Um, it's got all the features that the Helium has. It's just as light, just as packable, but you're gonna get these pockets. You're gonna get the super breathability. So if you're looking for a rain jacket for backpacking, I think you should definitely check it out. 
All right, so if you like the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting out a video every week, sometimes two a week. And I'm going to keep going down the trail, get this thing into some more rain. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah.